Hey YouTube, Garage Race here, back at it again. Today I'm going to show you a very important video. It's a continuation of the, another video that I have for the Ford Escape where you can start it up and you have to push the key in and it'll start. You can see that video here if you're actually stuck and you want a quick fix on how to turn on your car. You can just click that video and see how. But this is the proper fix because after you do that for a while, it's not going to work. And if you come in here and let me show you, like if you try to turn on the, the Ford Escape, it won't see it won't turn on actually if you turn your key around like this and you push in <laughs> you can actually turn it on but that's gonna work for a little while that's just a little hack the quick the actual fix the proper fix is your nick ignition switch which is this guy right here which it's somewhere around here i'm going to show you in just a minute it's an easy job it won't take us long. You can just buy this. I'm going to put the information of this in the description. You can buy it on the link or you can just look it up or whatever you want. But it's an easy job and let's go ahead and do it. Let me show you how to fix this infamous issue. Okay, guys, before anything, the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. And every time you work with electric stuff and you switch sensors, it's recommended you disconnect your battery. So go ahead and disconnect your battery. Okay, guys, and the first thing you're going to do is just come in here. And I kind of did it already a little bit, but just pop up, pop these little plastic covers. Um, you use a flathead, see they're just clips on this side and the other side. And just take them out, we're gonna make some space. Let me get in here. Let me show you. Okay, you see it's just a clip, there you go. It's just those little clips, and then there's another one. This cover, which is the same way, there you go. Remove that and then let me show you what you have to do next. Okay guys, then you're gonna come down here and there's three screws. It's one, two, and three. They're size 5.5 millimeter. So you're gonna come in here and take this off. They're 5.5, there's three of them. Take those off and then I'm gonna show you what you have to do next. Okay guys, now that we removed the covers, the bottom uh, cover, uh, you can play with this uh, down here so you can take off the cover. So you move this and you play with it. But once you do that, then just it's a very easy job. Then just come in here and uh, this is what we're going to be replacing. So just unplug this first. But to unplug that, you just have to press this. I'm gonna use a flathead. Just press this and pull back, just like that. So just unplug that, and then, then now let me show you what you have to do next. Okay, guys, now that you unplug that, this is the part that we're gonna remove. This is the new part. And let me just show you here. Let me just show you the clips that we're gonna have to push. See this clip right here, this, and then on this side. So you have to push those two in so you can come out. And then when you come here to the part, there's one on top, so you're gonna use a flathead. And then right here, let me see. Let me show you the one on the bottom first. So you come down here and where, oh, okay. So right here, sorry, right here. Just gonna push this with your flathead. And at the same time, you're gonna pull back with your hand right here. And then you're gonna come in on the top part right here. And let me get in there, let me kind of zoom in. And then right here in this little square, right here, you're gonna push with your flat head and also at the same time holding this and pulling back. So let me let me actually get somebody to hold the camera and let me show you how to do it. Okay guys, so let me show you real quick. You're gonna come in here and press up there with the flat head and pull back. And then now do the bottom part and just press and pull back. And once you get both clips, it comes out just like that, you see? Very easy, it just comes out just like that. And then we're gonna put it in the same way. So let me show you something real quick, just so you have to know how it works. You see this little thing right here? That's your issue with the key. Whenever you put in the key, a little stick comes out on that side. Let me show you real quick. Okay, so you see that? All right, so yeah, that's your problem right there, this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it, replace it and then show you how it uh, turns on. Whenever you put this in, I do recommend, let me, whenever you put this, the new one in, I do recommend having your key inside the ignition switch um, because if not, it'll, it'll probably lock it and then you have to take it out again and try it again. Because I, again, that little stick sticking out has to push this little ball inside. So do it with your key inside the ignition switch, okay? And put this, put the new part in, put everything back in, but I'm gonna show you how it works. How, how it fixed my issue. Guys, before I show you how I turn it on, I just wanna show you how to put it back in place. It's just so easy. 
that anybody can do it. Just come in here, put it in like this, push it in, and then just it clips in place. See, just like that. So you go in from the corner and then you push it in. Very easy. After that, you're just gonna plug this back. And now we're gonna be able to turn on our car. So plug back your battery in. I already had my battery connected. Reconnect your battery and then come in. Let me just go ahead and show you how it works. Voila, there you go. Let me turn it around. I don't have to push in anymore. Just regular turn. See? Remember before you used to have to push in? Not anymore. That's it guys. Hopefully this helped. There's so many issues with this vehicle, with this switch. So many problems. The other video that I have is so popular. Um, but just tell your friends, share this video. It's so easy, the part is cheap. And it's, it, you can do it within 10 minutes or five minutes. You can do it yourself. Any other shop will charge you hundreds of dollars to do this, but you can do it yourself in uh, under $50 in under 20 minutes. So thanks for watching guys, take care.